Hey, how you doing? It's just you and me. Hank Norman is teaching me. I'm, I'm watching his posts and he's teaching me to talk to just you. Just you. You're listening to me. Let's connect. So, so I, listen, I wanted to talk about, <clears throat> I was talking to a buddy of mine, well, another buddy earlier today about um, some sales stuff. What's up, Stephen Fout Jr., Mike Cotton? What's up? So, like, who has gone out and knocked on doors until their knuckles were bleeding? Who's done that? I've done it. I have done it. Jim Weaver, Danielle Rowe, what's going on? So, Lynn, what's up? So, have you ever gone out and knocked on doors until your knuckles bleed? Have you ever done it? Ermilo, how you doing, bro? I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Like, I was talking to somebody earlier, like, pre-internet, okay? Like, if you even know what that means. What's up, Rob Swade? How you doing, man? So ha have you have you gone out and literally watching from Fort Lauderdale right on? What's up, Anthony? Jerry Marshall, my brother, how you doing? Have you ever gone out with a Haynes directory? Do you know what a Haynes directory is? Somebody drop a one if you know what a Haynes directory is. This is old school selling, old school. This is like when you needed a crisscross reference to find a, a row of businesses in the, in the um, demographic that you wanted to call on. So like, like old school cold, cold calling. That's how you broke it. Lynn, I'm doing awesome. So you know what a Haynes directory is. Like I was talking to, like tomorrow, tomorrow at 11 a.m., I have the freaking honor and the freaking privilege and the, it blows me away that I'm interviewing the legendary king of sales, Jeffrey Gittimer, tomorrow on my show at 11 a.m. And if you guys don't know what my show is, hey, Megan Wright, how you doing? So, um, <clears throat> man, there could, I could have, there's so many pickup lines for Megan Wright's name. Like, seriously, Megan, like, are you looking for Mr. Wright? <laughs> That's just, I, I can't, I had to, I'm sorry. I had to. But anyway, like, like, you know, I get to interview tomorrow, Mr. Jeffrey Gittimer. <laughs> you, like, you've never heard that one, right? What's up, Ruben Cell? How you doing, man? So like, like I'm interviewing the king of sales. Like he's written 13 books, several that have hit the New York Times bestseller list, like the, the, the sales Bible and the little red book of selling. And then he's got the little gold book of a yes attitude. And he just re-released that. And I'm interviewing him tomorrow. So I have a new show and pay, listen, don't leave. I see there's the let now somebody just left. Listen, I, I need some help from you guys. I need some help. I am looking for, and, and I, I just got confirmation that I'm actually, hey, Beth Hoover, Jeff Sims, what's up? I, I just got confirmation on Tuesday of next week, I'm interviewing Hank Norman on my show. So listen, this show is not just for Facebook Live. It also goes out to my YouTube channel and I have a new show coming out on a network called Binge, uh, Binge TV Networks. And Binge is syndicated across 50 different, um, what do you call it, different networks. Like it's on, what's up, Jorge? So it's on, it's on Apple TV, it's on Roku, it's on Amazon, it's on 50 different, it's syndicated across 50 different networks globally. It's the only American network that's in China. Like, and I have a show coming out on that, that the show is called Breakthrough Walls. So I, Frank Lopes, Frank Lopes, you're my next call, bro. I have you on my list. I need to talk to you, man. I'm calling you tonight. Don't, don't send me to voicemail, Frank. I need Frank on my show. So I, I'm doing this show and I'm interviewing industry leaders, thought leaders, People that, that, that are known that want to be exposed to more and more people because the binge TV networks is, is, it's, it, the reach right now is in the millions and millions of people. And, and I'm really excited to have a show on there. It's going to be out. I would say I'll be releasing content on there within the next two weeks. 
Frank Lopes, I need you on my show, man. I need you on my show. Like I said, I had I had Jennifer Gluckow yesterday. She was amazing. <laughs> dude, dude, you got a thing? Come on, man. I know a guy, man. I know a guy. So so look, I had Jennifer Gluckow from Sales in a New York Minute yesterday. She was on the show. Phenomenal. I love Jennifer. She's amazing. Uh, I have Mr. Jeffrey Gittimer tomorrow. I know you're kidding, man. So I have Mr. Gittimer tomorrow at 11 a.m. I need to get somebody in the slot for Friday. So Frank, Frank, what do you got going Friday? Let's just freaking get Frank on the show right now. I need to interview somebody on Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. What's up, Eric Overly? <laughs> PWW, my man. That's right. You called it. You called it. So, and if you don't know what that means, <clears throat> Eric Overly is a good friend of mine. Um, I, I can't confirm nor deny what he does for a living, if you know what I mean. Um, but he was in my office one day and he grabbed a marker and wrote on my whiteboard, PWW. And I said, dude, what what are you doing, man? And, and he may or may not carry a, a, a firearm for a living um, in his line of, of work. And, and so I said, what are you doing, dude? Don't write on my whiteboard. He's like, it's PWW, bro. I'm like, what's that mean? He goes, prestige worldwide. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, dude, tell me you've seen Step Brothers. I go, oh, that prestige worldwide. <laughs> right, okay, so hey. So anyway, so I am, I, I have some really amazing people. Hank Norman on Tuesday, May the 1st, I'm interviewing Hank. I've got some really cool people lined up and, and this thing's going to roll out. It's going out globally. Like when I start releasing this content onto this network, it's going, <laughs> Step Brothers, right? It, it's, go, it's going out globally to millions and millions of people. So, <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> boats and hoes, right? So that's so funny. Anyway, I wanna I wanna get some some people into this. Leslie Dixon, how in the world are you? Good to see you. Anyway, I wanna get some 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 more people in and and get them on the schedule. The, you know, I know some amazing people. I'm working on Lisa Copeland. If you don't know who Lisa Copeland is, and you're anywhere even remotely close to the car industry, you're not really in the car industry. So Lisa is amazing. I love her, and and she's been traveling and busy and speaking and hanging out with you know people that like Sharon Lecter, who's a friend now of mine on Facebook. I I, I can't wait to get to know Sharon better. But Sharon is the co-author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. She also wrote the book um, Think and Grow Rich for Women. She is amazing. She was just in the movie, um, the new Think and Grow Rich movie, which I I, I watch. I have the movie right. I bought it. I cannot believe how many freaking people I know that are in that movie. Grant Cardone is in it. I'll get Grant on, man. I'll get Grant on. Grant's going to be a hard one. He's he's a busy dude. But, you know, <clears throat> there's there's um and I've interviewed Grant before too on on my show. Peter Gatchel, what's up, brother? How you doing? So, so listen, I'm I'm I got all these 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 people. I want to get some more people on the show. So if you can help me, if you know anybody and, and or if you're a, a big time leader in your industry and, and you want to be vetted by my team, my team being me, um, I, I'll, I'm willing to talk to you about, about the, the opportunity to be on the show. Again, we, we got to bring some value, man. We got to bring value. So um, anyway, that's it. I just wanted to hop on and talk about knocking on doors, man. You got it. Like if you've never gone out and and knocked on doors, it'll be at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Jeff. It'll be on Facebook Live, so I'll leave that up um, if if you miss it at the time. But Hank, <clears throat> I I talk to Hank quite often, and Hank is is that dude. Uh, he he messed me up a few weeks ago, maybe a little longer, maybe a month ago. He literally messed my mind up. He is. Hank is one of the most incredible people I know on this planet. Like he just tells it like it is. I guarantee that he's going to drop an F bomb. <laughs> I can, I can almost guarantee that Hank will drop an F bomb. So all the kids will be in school at 11 a.m. on May the 1st. So that's okay. 
<clears throat> That's okay. Danelle Delgado, I can get Danelle. Danelle's awesome. I love Danelle. So, so hit me up in a private message if you would, if you know anybody. Um, or you want to introduce somebody to me that's an industry leader, a thought leader that wants to be on the show. Um, I'm, I, 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 I've got a lot of people in mind that I already know. I'm going to get some more people. So listen, I appreciate you watching me. If you've never gone out and knocked on doors until your, your knuckles have bled, like, go do it. Because I, I, I'm, you know, I was talking to somebody the other day and I said, dude, I have knocked on so many freaking doors. Like, honestly, if it weren't for the fact that I went out and knocked on doors, I started my business on a $20 loan and, and just a lot of hope and, and fear, <laughs> fear that I was like out of my mind, losing my, my marbles and not just going and getting a job. Somebody loaned me 20 bucks and I went out and I just started banging on doors and I, I mean, I kept going for hours and hours and hours. And there's been times where days and days and days went by and I didn't even get somebody remotely interested. <coughs> Excuse me. Remotely interested. And I, I wanted to quit. I wanted to just stop and quit and go settle for average and just get a job and like not do this anymore. But I pushed through it and I pushed through it and I pushed through it and I still continue to push through it every day. So if you've never knocked on doors until your, your knuckles are bleeding, then you are not working hard enough. Go out and knock on doors until your knuckles bleed. Do that for a few days, years, weeks, months, whatever. Do it often. Do it a lot until you're like, man, I got this down now. Because people are terrified to go knock on doors. I know, I know, I was. Even after I'd been out knocking on doors, I was still afraid to go knock on doors. It's a, it's a natural fear. But if you go out and you knock on those doors, man, I'm telling you, it's like planting seeds. If you go out and you plant a, a, an acre full of seeds, eventually something's going to pop up. Eventually. And then you're going to start seeing all kinds of other things pop up. So you got to go out and knock on the doors. You got to hit it. Hit the phones. I know at Grant's office, you got to dial 150 calls a day or something insane like that. Like you got to really put in the work. And I think that social media has has caused, including me, it's caused a lot of people to just become complacent or lazy and, and you, you can't do that. You can't do it. It's not going to come from, from just social media. I mean, some of it does. Some, some industries, like I know, I know a lady that she gets all of her leads off of Facebook and that's cool, man. That works for some people, but it does. Eric, 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 <laughs> Eric, there's a difference between knocking on doors and kicking in doors, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so knocking on doors is like, hey, I'm going to walk in here real politely, try to sell something. Kicking in a door is a little bit different. But anyway, so like, you know, <clears throat> get out there and do the deal, man, because that is what's going to bring you success. That's what's going to make you eventually go, man, I can't believe I did that. I'm not like I, I'll, I'm 49 years old. I know I only look 29, but I'm 49 years old. And in my 49 years, notice how I'm no longer saying I'm almost 50. I, I, I'm not pushing that anymore. OK, I'm 49 still. And in my 49 years, I have knocked on. I mean, I don't even know. Thousands. I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of doors. I've knocked on thousands of business doors and I have knocked on thousands of residential doors. I've been chased by dogs. I've been cussed out by receptionists. I've been yelled at by business owners. I've been, I've been, I've been through all of it and I have been treated unbelievably nice by really kind people as well. So, and that's the majority of people. Most of the time, you're not going to get chased and bit by a, do a dog or, or yelled at by a secretary or, or, or shot at. You know, normally you're not going to get shot at, but it, I guess it depends on what you're selling, right? So anyway, listen, I'm excited. I have Mr. Jeffrey Gittimer tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., 
Check us out here on Facebook Live. I'll have him on Facebook Live. And, and when you jump on, please, please be kind and share that stuff out. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm excited. Hank Norman on Tuesday. Oh, my gosh. That's incredible. Hank's awesome. I love that dude. So, you know, jump on and, and, and check it out because I've got some really cool interviews coming up. I knew a lady who started in supplemental insurance. Whoa, that just got really, I, I said expand. Um, after the front office gal uh, at the place she was prospecting asked her name, completely froze. She walked out, sat in her car to regroup. She came, came back in and said, I, I remember my name now. <laughs> she also had a lady, t wow tear up her business cards, staples it back together right there at the desk and asked again to speak to the owner who peeled down the hallway. <laughs> that is funny. That's what it takes. That is what it takes. I, I love the businesses that have the sign that says no soliciting. Those are my favorite. You know why? That means they freaking buy from every salesperson that walks in the door. So I walk in and I go, hey, I'm here to sell you. And they're like, what? And I go, I'm here to sell you. But why? Because your sign says that you buy everything. So I came in to sell you. And they're like, what? it doesn't say that. It says no soliciting. But I know it says no soliciting. But what that means is you buy from every sales guy that walks in here, obviously. And that's what I'm here to do is sell you. So let's chat. So, hey, Amber Felt, how you doing? So, oh, it's all right, Megan. I understood it. But like I, I, you know, like you gotta, you gotta go out and have fun. You gotta have fun calling people. If you're making cold calls over the phone, make it fun. Like I have made again tens of thousands of those. I've ran big freaking telemarketing rooms that that were mine for my business, my company. <clears throat> and I'm telling you, the ones that always excel at that are the ones that are upbeat. They stay upbeat. They freaking get excited. They're happy. They're they have fun with it. <clears throat> people, people can be rude. I've had people hang up on me and I just hit redial and call them right back and they answer again. I go, hey, sorry about that. We dropped the call. <laughs> and they go, no, we didn't. I hung up on you. I'm like, well, why, why, why would you hang up on me? I wasn't mean. Why are you being mean? And I call them out on it. So like, you know, have fun with it. But like, go out and knock on doors until your knuckles bleed. Go out and do it. And I think that, honestly, personally, now, it's way, way more efficient, obviously, to be able to pick up the phone and smile and dial and make a thousand phone calls. However, I believe that it's a lost art to go out and knock on doors and develop a face-to-face -face relationship with somebody. Because, you know, look... Here's, here's at the end of the day, I've done website development for 20 blah, blah, blah years, right? 25 years, I don't know, a long time. I've done website development, I've done you know SEO, I've done marketing, and, and, and at the end of the day, there's nobody on this planet sitting around right now going, boy, I sure hope a web developer comes walking in the door anytime now. Nobody. But they may have had a meeting with their web guy this morning and went, I want to kill that guy. Like, like I really want to, I, I want to hurt him. And then I come walking in, my happy ass, and I'm like, hey, how you doing? I do websites. And they're like, well, we just were talking about how we want to kill a web guy. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. You know, you're, you never know. But I know this, that the more that you put in the work, the more that the doors will open because you're planting seeds. And as you plant those seeds, they begin to sprout and they begin to grow. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got. You got to go out, put in the work, and you also have to be on tomorrow. I'm interviewing Jeffrey Gittimer at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then on, on Tuesday, I will have the world famous... The guy that creates the stars, I mean, he made freaking Steve Harvey, Grant Cardone. Like, this dude is awesome. His name is Hank Norman. He will be on on Tuesday at 11 o'clock. So make sure that you check out the show. It's called Breakthrough Walls, and it's, it's going global. It's going global, y'all. So thank you for being on here. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.